welcome you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Another blessed, glorious, beautiful, awesome, and powerful time in the presence of our Lord. Him and our strength in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We start the broadcast tonight by singing and pressing on the hope of the way. As we sing this in the God Almighty, go before us and lead us through all the days of our lives in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Quickly grab your bottle of water as we start the service. And may the glory, the power of the Most High God move in every life, in every home, and deliver us from the shackles of the enemies. May He destroy every evil, all the evil loads that are pressing us down. And may He set us free from ancestral bondage and captivities. And above all, may He save our souls in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise ye the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm pressing on the upward way, new hearts I'm gaining every day, still praying as I'm upward bound, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground, Lord, lift me up and let me stand. By faith on air, most stable land, the higher plane that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. My heart has no these are to stay where dog arise and fears is me though some may dwell where these are bound my prayer my aid is a your ground lord lift me up and let me stand by faith on air bones they will lie the higher plane that I have found, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I want to live above the wall, those haters that at me are all. For faith has caught the joyful song, the song of sing on Ayaga. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on air, most stable land, the higher plain that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on Ayaga. Yeah, I want to scale the hot most high and catch a gleam of glory bright. For still I pray till heaven are far. Lord, lead me on to our. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on air, who stay ruler, the higher place that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on our ground. Amen. Eternal rock of ages, the Almighty Father, the everlasting God, the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, our Father, our Maker, our Redeemer, our Strength, our Light, our Everything. Lord, this hour we lift up your holy name, we worship and we bless your name, O Lord. Daddy, be thou glorified, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. We are grateful, Lord, for the gift of life. We are grateful for the answered prayers. 
Daddy, we are grateful for going before us. We are grateful for building your head to fire on us. We are grateful, Lord, for being the voice that is speaking for us. We are grateful, Lord, for silencing the force and the avengers. We are grateful, Lord, for shedding your light over us, upon us, and around our families. We are grateful for not allowing the cloud of darkness to swallow us up. We are grateful, Lord, for not allowing the vultures of this world to eat our flesh and to drink our blood. Father, in all situations tonight, take all the glory. Take all the glory. Take all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are grateful for setting the table before us in the presence of our enemies. We are grateful, Lord, for leading us in the path of righteousness. We are grateful, Lord, for removing ashes from our lives and for covering us with your beauty. We are grateful for divine impartation. We are grateful for divine teaching. We are grateful for divine knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We are grateful, Lord, for the release of your power upon us. We are grateful for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We are grateful, Lord, for the authority and power in your word. In the name of your Son, Jesus, and his blood, Father, over all situations this hour, take all the glory. Take all the glory. Lord, for giving us victory over darkness, for giving us victory over serpents, over scorpions, over wickedness in high places, over territorial forces, over your mighty spirit. We are grateful Lord, for giving us victory over the arrows of darkness, over the pestilence that walketh in darkness, over the distortions that wasted a new day. We are grateful Lord, for preserving our souls from all evil. We are grateful for not allowing the sun to smite us by day, nor the moon by night. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful. Oh, Lord, we are grateful, Lord, we are grateful, oh, Lord, hallelujah, for all you have done for us, hallelujah, we are grateful, oh, Lord. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, there is no one like you. All other gods, they are the works of men. You are the only one. There is no like you. All other gods, all other gods, they are the works of men. You are the only one. There is no like you. There is no like you. Jesus, there is no like, there is no like you, there is no like you. Jesus, there is no like, there is no like you, there is no like you. Jehovah, there is no like you, there is no like you, there is no like you. Jesus, there is no like, unchangeable, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable God, reliable, reliable God. Reliable God, reliable, reliable God, dependable God, dependable, dependable God, dependable God, dependable, dependable. I've been to Calvary, I've been to Calvary. I dip my hands in the blood of the Lamb. I drink the blood of Jesus. My life has been made. I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. I 
I dip my hands in the blood of the Lamb. I drink the blood of Jesus. My life has been made. Oh, 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 my life has been made. Every disaster fashion that keeps me and my family. Fire every disaster passion against me and my family. Fire in Jesus' name. Fire in Jesus' name. Fire every disaster passion against me and my family. Fire in Jesus' name. Fire in Jesus' name. Back fire, glorious God, everlasting fire, once again take all the glory over every life, over every source, over every marriages, over every family here this hour. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Merciful God, merciful daddy, merciful creator, daddy we surrender all before thee this hour. We know we have sinned against thee and come to your glory. Daddy we pray for mercy, O Lord. Have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. Forgive us of all our sins. Wash us clean from every unrighteousness and create in us a new heart, new spirit in the name of Jesus. Lay your mind and power upon us and let every rage of the wicked of all, let them be disgraced and be dashed to pieces in the name of Jesus. Let every cloud of darkness clear away tonight in the name of Jesus. Daddy, let your presence, oh God, let the fullness of your power, let your love, let your your glory fill this temple, fill every soul, fill every life, fill every home, fill every marriage tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to quickly open your Bible, beloved, to Psalm 107, verse 20. Psalm 107, verse 20. The Bible says, It sent his wall and healed them. Tonight, the Lord will send forth, He will send his word to your life. He will send forth his word into your home, into your marriage, into your business, into your ministry. And you and I shall be healed tonight. We shall be healed tonight. He sent forth his word and healed them and deliver them from their destruction. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh God, my Father, send your word to my life and heal me. Oh God, my Father, send your word, oh Lord. Send your word into my life. Send your word into my life, into my marriage, into my hope, into my ministry, upon every life. Say, oh God, let the word of God be sent to us and let there be healing. Send your word, oh Lord, and heal us, and heal us. Send your word, oh Lord, and heal us, and heal us in Jesus' name, we are praising word of God. Locate my life tonight and heal me. Word of God, word of the living God. Locate my life, locate us on this platform. Locate every life here tonight and let there be healing. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Bible says, He sent His word and healed it and deliver them from their destructions. We are going to pray. Say, my father, by your word, deliver me from the hands of the destroyers. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Oh, Lord God, the everlasting God. Oh, Lord God, the man of war. Send your word tonight. By your word tonight, deliver me from the hands of the destroyers. Deliver us, O Lord. Deliver every life here. Deliver every soul. Deliver every life here. Deliver every soul. Deliver us. Deliver all marriages. Deliver us tonight from the power of the wasters. Deliver us, O Lord, from the grip of the destroyers. Deliver us, O Lord, from the hands of the destroyers. Deliver us, O Lord. Deliver us, O Lord, by your word. Wall, by your feeling wall, by your everlasting wall, O oh Lord, deliver us from the hands of the wasters, deliver us from the arrows of darkness, deliver us from the pestilence of the enemies, deliver us, O oh Lord, from horses, from yokes, from evil laws, O oh Lord, deliver from demonic hands, from failure, from disgrace, from destruction, O oh Lord, deliver us, O oh Lord, deliver us, everlasting Father, deliver us, Almighty God, deliver us, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying, great deliverer, the Almighty God, we thank you. We thank you for the authority and power. We thank you for the promises in your word, the promises of healing and deliverance. Tonight, oh God, 
Let deliverance and healings take place in every life share in the name of Jesus. Let your word, O Lord, locate every sick areas of our lives. Let your word, O Lord, locate every sick places in our foundations. Let your word, O Lord, locate us and let there be divine healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because you said you. In Jesus' name, it is all. Father, my life, I surrender before thee. Whatever is in me, O Lord, that will make me to stop preaching heresy or to start preaching lies father let your word locate me tonight let your word break me down remove me and make me lord a new vessel in christ jesus lay your might and power upon me from tonight oh lord and let me not speak of myself but let the holy spirit of god be the voice in me all the days of my life break me down oh lord remove me and make me lord a new vessel in christ jesus fill me afresh and all the days of my life, let me be filled and let me be connected to the socket of Holy Ghost, power and fire. And use me all the days of my life as your oracle, as your vessel, as your mouthpiece to propagate your gospel. And let your gospel tonight go forth with authority and power and set the captives free. Let your gospel go forth tonight with authority and power. Open the eyes of the blind, heal the sick, raise the dead, and win souls for your kingdom. Let your gospel go forth with authority and power tonight and shame the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare this service open in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, by your word tonight, we take authority over principalities, over powers, over invisible forces, over wickedness in high places, over territorial powers, over the occultic spirits, over the witches and wizards, over the necromancers, over the destroyers, over the wasters, over serpents, over scorpions, over the Levitian forces. We take authority over them. We bind them with chase and feathers and cast them into the bottomless Spirit of fire in the name of Jesus. We declare this area a no go area for them in the name of Jesus. We declare every family here tonight a no go area for devil and all his angels in the name of Jesus. And we ask, oh God, Father, let every life here tonight, let every hope, let every family, oh God, receive your fresh anointing from above tonight in the name of Jesus. Receive your fresh fire. We receive the fire of the Holy Ghost upon every life upon this platform in the name of Jesus. We receive the fire of healing. We receive the fire of holiness, fire of revival. We receive tonight. We receive tonight. We receive tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover every life set tonight in the blood of Jesus and in the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, gracious Father. Thank you, mighty Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, to another blessed, glorious, beautiful, and powerful time in His presence. My prayer to God Almighty is for God to move in our midst in the fullness of His power and break every chains of darkness militating against us in the name of Jesus. To the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be looking at what the Lord has given us the grace to look into tonight, which is Go before me, O Lord. Go before me, O Lord. May the Lord God Almighty go before you and I. May He go before our ministries. May He go before our marriages. May He go before our children. May the Lord go before us in our places of work. May the Lord go before our families. May the Lord go before us in the name of Jesus. When God is going before you, He's going to make the sun and the moon not to smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will go before thee. The Lord will go before your children. The Lord will go before your ministry. The Lord will go before you in your sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, go before me, O Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's quickly open our Bible to so, Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. I read from verses 2. Oh, I read from verse 2, 2 to 3. Isaiah 45, verses 2 and 3. The Bible says, I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gate of bronze and cut the bars of iron asunder. I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that thou may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name, am the God of Israel. May the Lord go before you and I all the days of our lives in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Let's turn our Bible to Exodus chapter 13. Exodus chapter 13, and I read from verse 16, 2 to 22. Exodus 13, from verse 16, 2 to 22. The Bible says, It shall be 
as a sign on your hand and as a frontlet between your eyes. For by strength of hand, the Lord brought us out of Egypt. Then it came to pass, when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, Lest perhaps the people change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up in orderly ranks out of the land of Egypt. And Moses took the bones of Joseph within, for he had placed the children of Israel under solemn oath, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from here with you. So they took their journey from Soko and encamped in Ethan at the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so as to go by day and night. He did not take away the pillar of cloud by day or the pillar of fire by night from before the people. God led them both day and night. May God Almighty go in His supernatural power and presence before you and I both day and night. God was with His children according to the scripture I read, both day and night. He was there as the light to guide them. I pray, may the Lord God Almighty go before you and I, go before us, go before our homes, both day and night in the name of Jesus. We need God to go before us, beloved, so that he can make, number one, let's quickly go back to Isaiah chapter 45. We need God to go before us so that he can make the crooked places straight. You don't know the kinds of enemies and the kinds of problems that are before thee. But we need God to go before us so that they can make the crooked places straight. Number two, we need God to go before us so that they can break in pieces the gate of bronze. So that they can break in pieces the gate of bronze. We need God to go before us so that, so that they can cut the bars of iron asunder. We need God to go before us so that He can give us the treasures of darkness. We need God to go before us so that He can give us the hidden riches of secret places. We need God to go before us so that He can lead us by His own way. We need God to go before us so that He can shield us against the arrows of the enemies. We need God to go before us so that He can be the Almighty that will scare away all our enemies. Beloved, you and I, if there is a time in the history of man when we ought to pray for God's presence around us, the time is now. There are so many misleading forces out there. There are so many teachings out there that are misleading people from the way of light to the way of darkness. That is why you and I must pray to and say, Lord, Go before me. Before you do anything from today, remember, invite God into your journey. For every journey of life has a destination. And you don't know where the destination is until when you get there. And I pray every path that you and I are following shall lead us to divine destination in the name of Jesus. We need God to go before us so that we will not end up in demonic locations. We need God to go before us so that we will not become a prey in the hands of the enemies. We need God We need God to go before us so that we will not become a laughing stock. We need God to go before us so that we will escape all the dangers of life. We need God to go before us so that we can escape the net set on our path by the wicked. We need God to go before us so that we can escape the murderers, the killers, the wasters. We need God to go before us so that we can be victorious. We need God to go before us so that we can have our expected end, the divine end programmed for us by God. 
before the foundation of this world. Tonight is the night to pray to God. Beloved, for God to go before you and I, we must surrender to God. For God to go before you and make the crooked places straight, you must have God on your side. You must be in God and God must be in you. Before God can go before you and go before me, you and I, we must be living a life of holiness, a life pleasing to God. Before God can go before us, we must trust God that he knows the way. We must trust God, trust his words, and obey his commandments. For God to go before us, we must abide in his presence, under his shadow. I pray thee in the name of Jesus. May God Almighty go before us. Tonight is night to pray. I don't know where you are right now. Maybe you are where you are because you are being misled by people. Maybe you are where you are now because you are being misled by your own imaginations. But tonight, the Lord is here. Our God is here by his word in Isaiah 45 that he will go before us. You need you and I, we need to invite God into our journey right now. Where you are now, you are, you and I are on a path that we need God to be with. We need God to be with us. We need God to redirect our steps. Maybe we are walking in a way that will not glorify God. We need God to step in and to order our steps. The Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and they delight in his ways. May the Lord God Almighty order our steps. When the Lord is going before thee, your steps are ordered. When the Lord is going before thee, your destination is sure. When the Lord is going before us, no evil shall be before us. Disaster will not come here. Why? Because the Lord will defend us and they will make the crooked places straight. Lift up your voice and pray like this. Say, oh Lord God, my Father, forgive me, oh Lord, for leading myself. Forgive me, oh Lord, for all the ways I've been leading myself, oh Lord. Father, forgive me, oh Lord, in any way whereby I've been leading myself, in my home, in my, in my job. Father, forgive me, oh Lord. Forgive my children, forgive my wife, forgive us on this platform, oh Lord. In any way whereby we have been leading ourselves and we have not been allowing to lead us. Father, forgive us, oh Lord. Forgive us, oh Lord. Forgive us, oh Lord. Forgive us, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praising Almighty Father. I am in your presence. Go before me all the days of my life. Oh Lord God Almighty, the Almighty Father, we are in your presence, oh Lord. Go before us all the days of our lives. Go before us, oh Lord. Go before us, oh Lord. Go before us, oh Lord. Go before our children. Go before our marriages. Go before our husbands. Go before our wives. Go before us, oh Lord, all the days of our lives. Oh Lord, go before us. 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 Go before me, oh Lord. In my sleep, oh Lord, go before me. In my jobs, oh Lord, go before me. In my businesses, oh Lord, go before me. Oh Lord, go before us. On this platform, that we go before us. In our ministries, oh Lord, go before us. Oh Lord, go before us. Oh Lord, go before us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, go before me, oh Lord, and make the crooked places straight. In the mighty name of Jesus, go before us, oh Lord, and make the crooked places straight. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, go before us, oh Lord, and make the crooked places straight. Go before us, oh Lord, and make all the crooked places straight. Make all the crooked places straight before us. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, go before us, oh Lord, and make all the crooked places straight. In Jesus' name, we are praising. Go before us, oh Lord and break in pieces the gate of brass in the name of jesus go before us O lord and break in pieces the gates of brass go before us O lord go before us O lord go before us O lord and break in pieces the gates of brass break in pieces the gates of brass break in pieces the gates of brass in jesus name we are praying say go before me O lord and caught in asunder the bars of iron. Go before me, O Lord. Go before us, O Lord. And caught in asunder the bars of iron. Caught in asunder the bars of iron by your word, O Lord. Go before us. Go before us. And caught in asunder the bars of iron. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The Lord God Almighty, we go before you and I through the Bible, through studying the scriptures. The Lord will go before you and I through prayers. The Lord will go before you and I through divine revelations. The Lord will we go before you and I through divine encounter. I want you to pray. Say, oh God, my father, let me have 
direction in your word in the name of Jesus. Oh God, go before me, oh Lord, by your word and your power. Oh Lord, go before me by your word and by your power. Oh Lord, lead me by your word. Oh Lord, lead us by your word. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Beloved, you cannot do without the word of God. We cannot get divine instructions without being in the word of God. We and I cannot get directions without the word of God. The word of God is light. The word of God is quick and powerful. It is the word that will direct us. It is the word that will connect us to God himself because God is the owner of his word. We are going to pray. Say, oh God, my father, connect me to your word in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my father. Connect me to your word. Connect me to your word. Connect us, oh God, to your word. Connect us. Connect us. Connect us. Connect us. Connect us. Connect us. Connect us to your word. Connect us to your word. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The Lord will go before you and I through divine dreams and revelations. I want you to pray, beloved. That, oh God, my Father, give me a new spiritual life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, my Father, give us new spiritual lives. In the name of Jesus, give me, Lord, new spiritual life. Give me new spiritual life. Give me new spiritual eyes. Give me new spiritual ears. Give me new spiritual hearts. In the name of Jesus, give us, oh Lord, new spiritual eyes, new spiritual ears, new spiritual hearts. Oh Lord, give us new spiritual life. Give us new spiritual lives. Give us new spiritual life. Give every soul here tonight. Give us new spiritual your lives in Jesus' name, we are praying. The Bible says, I will go before thee and do what make the crooked places straight. He went for that to promise us, and I will give you the treasures of darkness. In verse 3, we are going to pray. Say, Lord, go before me and give me the treasures of darkness. Beloved, there are treasures. That are hidden. It is when the Lord is going before you that He will lead you and I to where those treasures are. There are so many treasures that are hidden that only God knows their whereabouts. I want you to pray. Say, Go before me, O Lord, and give me the treasures of darkness. You are asking God to give you blessings, you are asking God to give you uncommon breakthroughs, uncommon victory, uncommon testimonies. We're asking God to connect you to the blessings and the best of the land. Open your mouth and pray according to the scripture. Say, oh God, my father, go before me and give me the treasures of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, my father, go before me. Go before my children. Go before my wife. Go before every soul here tonight and give us the treasures of darkness. Go before us, almighty God, and give us the treasures of darkness. Go before us, O oh Lord. Go before us, O oh Lord, and give us the treasures of darkness. Go before us, O oh Lord, and give us the treasures of darkness. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Yes, going to pray. Say, go before me, O Lord, and give me the hidden riches of secret places. There are hidden riches in secret places that God Almighty knows where they are. Say, go before me, O Lord, and give me hidden riches of secret places. In the mighty name of Jesus, go before me, O Lord, go before us, O Lord. And give us hidden riches of secret places. Give us hidden riches of secret places. Give us, oh Lord, give every soul there tonight. Give us hidden riches of secret places. Give us hidden riches of secret places. So shall it be in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. The Lord go before us. The Lord make all the crooked places straight. The Lord defend us from the arrows of darkness. The Lord God Almighty lead us by His mighty hand of fire and disgrace darkness before us. May the Lord God Almighty deliver us from every path of death in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty deliver us from every evil ways that we have been following. May the Lord God Almighty separate us from destiny wasters. May the Lord God Almighty deliver us from the prison yard of darkness. May the Lord God Almighty go before us and lead us out of the prison yard 
of our father's house. May the Lord God Almighty go before us and destroy darkness in our dreams. May the Lord God, God Almighty go before us and waste all the wasters of lives before us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, glorious Father. Lord, we surrender all. Keep us under your shadow. Keep us safe under your wings all the days of our lives. To you be the glory. Thank you, glorious Father. Thank you, beautiful King. Daddy, we thank you, Lord, because now we know that you are you are going before us. Daddy, we thank you, Lord, for accepting us back as your for accepting us back as your sons and daughters. Father, glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. We are grateful, Lord. Daddy, keep us. Keep us under your shadow. Keep us, O oh Lord. Keep us, O oh Lord. Keep us in the path of righteousness. Keep us, O oh Lord, in the way of holiness. Thank you, glorious Father. Thank you, mighty Savior. In Jesus' most excellent and beautiful name, it is settled. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. If the message is a blessing unto you, share the good news. Tell the whole world that it is only when they allow God to go before them, that is when the crooked places can be made straight. It's only when the world allow the, the Lord to go before them, that is when it can break in pieces the gate of brass and cut in asunder the bars of iron. That is when they can enjoy the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. Share this good news and be a blessing to your generation. As you do so, may God Almighty bless you, increase you, and go before thee and your family all the days of your life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus is Lord, is coming back shortly for the saints, endeavor to live a righteous, a holy life, and a life filled with Holy Ghost, a life washed with the blood of Jesus. And my prayer to God is on the last day, may you and I, our families and unborn generations, be with Christ in paradise and may Jesus Christ in his mercy write our names in the book of life in the name of Jesus. Praise it that our tomorrow is another time in his presence. We'll be meeting from 11.45 p.m. to 12.50 a.m. Come to the service with a bottle of oil and God Almighty will anoint us afresh and our lives shall not remain the same again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's share our personalized grace. Let's go. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven victorious. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you all and keep shining the Lord. Amen.